you are welcome how to solve this nice square root math problem here let's write what we have here that is square root of okay we can write it as 81 as 9 square then square that is here as well then plus also 25 here we can write it as 5 square then also this square here then plus here 14 we can write it as 9 plus 5 then which is raised to power 4 and uh, divided by 2 this before i continue just take a moment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on thank you god bless you now from here this power will multiply from the law of indices and this becomes square root of 9 raised to power 4 then plus here becomes 5 raised to power 4 then plus here we have 9 plus 5 4 raised to power 4 then divided by the 2 we have here then next we have 9 5 that is is common here now so let's use a letter for making our work easier so let x be equal to 9 and y be equal to 5. Then we can substitute 9 as you know x and then 5 as y. Then this becomes square root of x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 then plus x plus y raised to power 4 then divided by 2 then from here we can open this you know bracket and that follows from Pascal triangle that we have 1 1 1 2 1 when the power is 2 1 3 3 1 when the power is 3 then 1 4 6 4 1 when the power is 4 so the the coefficient of this expansion is the 1 4 6 4 1 so that here this becomes square root of what we have here is x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 then plus here the first power here will be x raised to power 4 which has coefficient of 1 then plus the next as coefficient of 4 which is the power here will reduce by 1 that's x raised to power 3 then y will increase by 1 and that's y then plus also the coefficient the next one is 6 which is the power of x now will reduce by 1 that's x squared then y will increase by 1 that's y squared then plus the next coefficient is still 4 then x reduced by 1 again, that's x, then y raised to power 3, then plus the next question again is 1, and then x will disappear, then y will be power 4, so we have y power 4, then over 2 from here. Then what we have here now, we can collect the like terms. We have x to power 4, x to power 4, that's 2 of it. So this becomes square root of 2x raised to power 4 then plus also y to power 4 y to power 4 2 of it so we have 2y raised to power 4 then plus from here we have 6 let's bring 6 that's 6 x square y square then plus here we have 4 x cube y then plus 4 x y cube then all over 2 from here now when you look at this we can factor 2 out from all this then when we factor 2 from there this give us square root of please don't forget to click on the subscription button 
20. So this gives us 2 into bracket x raised to the power 4 plus y raised to the power 4 plus here becomes 3x squared y squared. <coughs> please, please. Then here we have 2x cubed y then plus 2xy cubed then close bracket then over 2 here now from here this 2 cannot cancel out this 2 then this will reduce to square root of we have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 plus here let's separate this as 2x squared y squared then plus x squared y squared so making 3x squared y squared then what you have here that's plus here we can factor this out and we have 2xy common then here we'll be left with x squared here then plus here we'll be left with y squared then from here we can group this together this way and what we have here can be simply written as x squared plus y squared all squared so we have square root of here we have x squared plus y squared all squared the expansion here gives us this then we have plus here gives us x y all square we can factor the square out from the law of indices then plus what we have here which is 2xy then to bracket x square plus y square then from here from here we can let x square plus y square be a so let a be equal to x square plus y square and let b be equals to x y then what we have here will now become square root of here we have a square now then plus b square here then plus 2 a times b that's 2 a b and from here this can simply be written as square root of a plus b all squared which implies that square will cancel square root and this will give us a plus b a and since a is x square plus y square so we have x square plus y square then plus b which is x y then we should recall that we represented a I mean we represented x here as 9 and we represented y as 5 so when we substitute here this becomes 9 square plus 5 square plus 9 times 5 then 9 square 9 times 9 that's 81 plus 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25 then plus 9 times 5 here that's 45 then this is 81 plus here give us 70 so we have 81 plus 70 here and when we sum this this gives us 151 from here so here we have the final answer to this problem which is 151 thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel in order not to miss out and turn the notification bell on share this video as well give it a thumbs up put your comment and see you next class bye for now